Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to use Gothmath AI Homework Helper. We're going to be going through some of the features, so stick around to the end to know how to use it. Now when you're logged in on your Gothmath, you're going to see this page. You have the main area here, and on the left sidebar you have Goth AI, PDF Helper, Writing Helper, Calculator, Resources, the blog, and you also have access to the app. Yes, we're using the web version, however, you also have the mobile app. Now in the main section here, it's as easy as typing your question or uploading a question. You also have the easy drag and drop feature to drag and drop a picture of your question. And we're gonna be doing that in a moment. So I'll be dragging and dropping a picture of a question which I just took on my desk. Now the question which was uploaded can be found here, as you can see the question and you have a picture there. And when I click on it, you can see what I took on my desk. X raised to power two, minus four X minus five equals zero. Now, of course, you can see the Goth AI solution. Now, it doesn't just give you the answer, it also offers an explanation to this answer. So you're not just getting a cheat or an answer, you're also getting the chance to learn how you can solve the question and other math questions. Now that's for the math question. Of course, if we go over to golf AI, which is on the left sidebar, just right here, and we have some other options here. We have chatbots for all your learning. You have for data, creation, language, lifestyle. For example, if you want to go into English learning, you can click on it and you can ask any question and it will answer because you're in the chatbot for English. So for example, we can ask a tricky question for some and we'll just write it right away. So we have this question, when should I use it's and it's? Of course, it sounds the same, but visually you can see that one of it has the apostrophe and the other does not. Of course, we want to test it and we're going to see the answer. And here you can see I made a mistake of saying when should it's use, which of course I meant when should I use it's with apostrophe and it's without apostrophe. Of course, the AI knows this is a mistake and it ignores that mistake and answers the question. The usage of it's with apostrophe and it's without can be a bit confusing, but I'll explain to you. And then it goes ahead and explains it, gives some nice examples. And now if you're a student of English, you can get the point and move on. Of course, if you're done learning English for this bot, you could click on Goth AI again, and it's going to take you to the list of other AIs that you can use in solving your problem as a student. Now you also have the PDF helper, which when you click on it, you can simply upload by dragging and dropping a PDF or click here to upload. The maximum size is 36 megabytes and the maximum pages is 100. You could also upload a link to your PDF. Now we're just going to use a sample here which is provided by the website and when we click on it and it opens a PDF document with different questions. So say you received a set of questions in a PDF and you upload it here, you're going to have Goth AI analyze it for you and give you the option to solve it. For example, it says find the derivative of the function, which we can see here. When we click on the solve, you're going to have the question in progress on the right sidebar of your page. And you can see the green tick, which means that it's found the answer. And then you can see the expert verified solution, find the derivative of each term, which is what we see here. And you can see the question up here and the expert verified solution. And then you have the answer with two steps to finding the solution. Of course, you could do the same to all of this or any of these. And if we click on number seven, you can have the solve option here. And when we click on it again, it's definitely going to give us the answer just as it did for the first one. The next feature, of course, is to simply click on the writing helper if that's what you need, which is the essay, message, and personal statement. When you click on essay, you're going to have the essay topic, the academic level, and you have about three levels here, high school, undergraduate, and master. And then you have the reference style, the specific instructions, and when all these are filled, you can go ahead and click on start writing because this button will be activated for you to click on it. Of course, you have the history. If you want to try it yourself, you could click on it and it's going to give you an example of what it can do when you're ready. And then we have the calculator here. This is like any other calculator, but it has been enhanced to be more powerful. Here in this calculator, you can write full equations just as you wish. If you're going to into more complex stuff, you can switch from the basic to functions calculator or the ABC where you can have your other alphabets for certain questions and you have the other operators. 
So as you can see from the home to Golf AI down to the calculator, you can use Golf AI for your homework needs, not just getting the answers, but understanding the questions and how to solve them. Of course, there are other aspects of Golf AI, such as the resources, the blog, and of course, we didn't mention the word problem, which when we click on it, you could put it your write up here and it's going to find the problem which you might have in your write up to make it better. All these are the features in Golf AI which you could use to solve your homework problems or even research materials. So go ahead and use Golf AI and we'll see you in the next video.